All right, I'm back live. I'm I'm so sorry, y'all. So sorry, I lost y'all. I don't know why the screen just went black, but I'm hoping uh, y'all can rejoin me here as we're gonna try some Starbucks. We're gonna have some Starbucks right now. This is a peppermint mocha. I wish I could show you. I'm just gonna show you right now. There's it right there. Looks so good. Peppermint mocha. Also a favorite of our wonderful friend Christine, aka Wego. But we're gonna have take a zip of this right now. So good. Oh my goodness. I had mine with soy. Check out this location here at Front and Berkeley. I was just having a chat with the store manager who really appreciated that I respected the rules. She said there's quite a few people who just come and they, they're asked not to film because uh, you have to respect that too. And I I definitely respect people's privacy. So she really appreciated that I didn't give any problems. And it was so cool that we got to see, we got to meet Christine and she got to tell us a little bit about her business. She'll be checking us out. But, uh, oh, Christine, I said, sorry. Um, Carolina, Carolina, Carolina. But uh, this one is, uh, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but this one's for you, Christine. Peppermint mocha. I think our wonderful friend, Christine, We'll be having her peppermint mocha tomorrow. Weekly treat. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna have some egg bites white right now. Hoping y'all can join me. Let me see. Make sure. All right, I'm gonna have some egg bites right now. So sorry I cut off there. All right, check it out. That's the, the egg white. Egg white roasted red pepper egg bites. They got uh, Monterey Jack cheese and spinach as well. So we're gonna try this out here. I've had it before, but I want y'all to try it with me. It's really good. This is a vegetarian one. Cage, cage free eggs, uh, gluten free. So I'm gonna try one right now. Hard job in the house, hard job. Good morning, Harjad. So good to see you. Good morning, Henry and everyone. Good morning, thank you so much for joining here. I guess the second part of our live stream. I just got a comment 21st century that my uh, stream just ended abruptly. Um, when, I, when I tried to change back from the be right back sign and I tried to switch back, it just, uh, I don't know, weird. I'm gonna have to figure that out. So I really apologize. I know we lost some, uh, but shouts out to our new viewers that we had, Cypher Gaming and Neon, Ga uh, Neon Demon. We had Ali from Iraq, who is here. Hopefully uh, he can join us again. 21st century, of course. I wonder, and uh, Kaplan join us. So hopefully you can all, I'm gonna have some Starbucks right now. So y'all see me here. I'm gonna have a bite of this egg bite. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice here. It's got roasted red pepper, Monterey Jack cheese, spinach. Really tasty. 
It's vegetarian, but it's really tasty. Mm. So I brought Well, uh, I wish, I wish y'all could have been here enjoying with me. I'm sorry, like that always happens whenever live stream gets cut off and I always lose viewers, but. I'll try and wait a little bit. I'll take another, if we can get one, some of our lovely viewers back. I'm gonna, I'll take more of a zip of the peppermint mocha. Mmm, peppermint mocha. This location here, the store managers. And um, check out this location right here at front and at front and Berkeley. Our manager's name is uh, Marianne. Shouts out to shout out to Portugal. Portugal. Take another zip of my uh, peppermint mocha here. Cheers to you all. Much love and respect to you all. Hopefully you can have some goodies today too. Hard job, thank you so much for joining me here. All right, we'll take another bite here. Mmm. I like it slightly burnt. Unfortunately, 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 for, I was standing, so unfortunately, I dropped it on the table here. I don't think, um, I don't think I'm gonna be, uh, I don't know. I'm sure they keep the tables clean. I'm not sure I want to eat. I'm not sure I want to eat. At least I get to have a couple of nice bites. I guess you could say I had at least one one good sized egg bite. Well, there you go. I'm gonna have to clean this up. I'm gonna have to clean this up right now. I don't, I'm not going to leave this mess here. But I, I really like this one. This one had a, I, lo, I like the slightly burnt. I like, um, I like that. We just, uh, well, unfortunately not everyone could join me. Harjot, I wonder if you're still here and thank you if you're, if you're here. I just have to. I'm just going to clean up this uh, mess here. You're resting on my coffee cup right now, so... Hopefully uh, you can rejoin me in the chat. If you're lurking, don't be shy. Come say hi. And please... Uh, if you're lurking, I appreciate. If you are shy to the chat, that's that's all good. I just appreciate that you're watching. But please, 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 please hit that like button. Please hit the like button for me. But a hard job, thank you so much. Um, hope your day's going well, hard job. Hard job in the house. I'm just cleaning up. Uh, some of the egg bites that spilled on the table. All right, let's get moving here. Here we go. We'll get moving momentarily here.
We'll get moving very shortly. I'll probably uh, I'll probably walk on King Street, and I'll show you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna probably I'll probably walk on King Street maybe, and I know I know our wonderful friend uh, I know our wonderful friend Sanjeev requested in one of my live streams if I don't know if anyone can recall requested that we do a walk pretty much right where we are front in Berkeley King and Berkeley and then we'll walk along King Street all right let's get moving again we're gonna get moving again right here I'm gonna go over to King Street We'll go over to King Street and walk west on King Street East. How's your day going, Harjad? If you're still in the chat, if you're in the, if you're lurking, don't be shy. Come say hi. We're a very, very friendly group here, and if and if you need confirmation of that, you can check out my past live streams. Feel free to check out the chat replay. But that was a Starbucks at Front of Berkeley. Check it out. They made a, uh, man, that was the egg bites, or at least the egg bite that I got to have. At least I got to have one, one for one, was very, very, was delicious. Oh, I wish, uh, I wish the stream didn't cut out so y'all could have. But, uh, you know, things happen. I'm gonna put it on for a bit. Hopefully y'all can join me again on the second part of the live stream. If you recall, by the lake there, there was a lot of police presence when we started our stream, right near the beginning of our stream, right by uh, right by the lake. What we'll be passing by, um, this is, um, this is, I guess one of the main campuses of George Brown coming up. Yes, you'll see one of the main campuses. This guy didn't realize that I'm on the selfie. People gotta use their brains a little bit more, but whatever. Hope you can join me on this walk here on King Street, St. George, uh, not St. George, uh, George Brown College. St. James campus. I'm just going to leave it on the selfie for a bit more until, uh, until. All right, I think uh, it's okay to let's uh, get it on the regular point of view here. Coca Cola. I think the Toronto Sun. Some reason something maybe that's not here anymore. I don't see the the Toronto Sun building. That, that's a pretty busy uh, 503 King replacement bus. I don't read the Toronto Sun anyhow, but I guess you could say it is one of the major uh, newspaper publications. You know what? I'm gonna go across the street here. It looks less busy. Maybe we could take a quick look here. Across. Hope you all can join me again. Sorry about the, um, that the first stream got cut off. First century. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much 21st century as we see a bus roll by. Thank you so much for rejoining second part here, the live stream. Thank you so much.
Yeah, 21st century. Nice meeting Carolina from Starbucks. Hey, yo, Fuck you, bud. Come here. Fuck you. Come here. Yeah, keep walking, you fucking coward. Keep walking. We'll put you on camera right now. Have a nice day, you little shit. You know what? Maybe I'll start walking. You know what? Let's walk towards him. Let's see if can do something. This guy wants to rock and roll? This guy wants to rock and roll, eh? You got a big mouth, eh? You got a big mouth, eh, coward? Keep walking, coward. You got a big mouth, eh? I'm coming right towards you. Do something. Do something, you bitch. You little coward. Come here, you little coward. Why you keep walking? Do something. You little bitch. Come do something, you little bitch. You weren't on camera before, but you're on camera right now. I know, keep walking, keep, keep walking, coward. Keep walking. This guy gonna go or not, man? Keep walking, you coward. You little bitch. I want to see if you're going to do something. I'm going to see if you're going to do something when I walk by. You're going to do something? You're going to do something? This guy threatened me. You're going to do something, you little coward? Come do something, big mouth. Fucking big mouth. You got a fucking big mouth. You can't back it up, eh? I'm walking right to you, man. Why don't you take the first shot, big boy? Take the first shot. Oh, Take the first shot. Stop lying about me, coward. Stop lying about me, piece Take the of first shot. Shit. Take the first shot, you piece of shit. Monster, coward. Get away from me, coward. Take the first shot. Shark transfer, monster, coward. Get away from me. Oh, so I, I'm going to let him threaten me? He threatened me. Huh? I'm worried about my safety, bro. I don't know if this guy got a knife or something. I wasn't even filming him. If he has a knife, then walk away from him. Don't walk towards the guy with a knife, right? Okay, bro, bro, I understand, guy. but bro, bro. All right, let it go, man. It's I'm Friday, have my a good day. He should be on minding his own business here. Yeah. I'm not even, I wasn't even, I was pointing at the camera myself. Selfie. Okay. You understand? Yeah, it's Friday, man. Have a good day, right? Just be happy. Just love okay, each other. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, you're right, you're right. All right, All right. thanks for that. I'm so sorry about that all. Sorry about that. I appreciate, um, I don't know who it was, Canada Pole, I don't know, some... I have to calm down. I can't worry about, uh, I can't worry about paranoid people like that, mentally unstable. Yeah, 21st century. Oh, 21st century. Oh, I just want to hate the scaffolding here. Here comes, we're going to see a streetcar walk by or stroll by. Yeah, 21st century. I could put quite, quite on a, quite a, quite a compilation there. There's also a uh, George Brown College. Yeah, 21st century, yeah, uh, just uh like the guy, I know I gotta be the bigger person, so. I don't know why, what I was thinking there. Uh, just, uh, just, I just wanna send a clear message. I just wanna send a clear me message to dingus like that. You're not, uh, it's dingus like that. Okay, 
that's a perfect example of what's going on in Toronto right now. Too many uh, mental, mentally unstable people walking around. It's uh, people, it's uh, people just like that, just like that uh, piece of shit. Excuse my language, just like that piece of shit walking around Toronto, making uh, others feel unsafe. Look, at, he's still screaming about something over there. People like that making Torontonians feel unsafe on the, on the, on the TTC, subway, streetcars, buses. They're, and uh, we need mental health supports, absolutely. But these are mental health, the root problem, the root cause, the mental health cause, that's a long-term, okay, that's a long-term. In the meantime, we need to do something to make Toronto safe. So what they've done is they've, uh, there'll be 80 police, undercover police officers working overtime to uh, to be a presence in the in this in the subway state, especially in the subway systems. I don't know if this guy. I don't know if this police officer is looking for me. I think he's looking to talk to me. Let's see what's going on here. Is this police officer really going to talk to me? Like, um, did somebody call the police or what? Talk to me. Wow, looks like uh, the police officer is going to talk to me. Well, I don't know uh, what he wants to talk to me about, but I'll just explain the situation. I'll just explain what it is. I didn't do anything wrong here. So. Plus I was live streaming, so I have camera footage too. Looks like he wants to talk to me. I could tell, I could tell from uh, across the street, he was sort of, he was looking for somebody. Then when, uh, but you know, who knows it could be, right? Who could be? But now, um, now that he wrote, oh, hey. Yeah, I'm live streaming. Oh, sorry, if you, I won't put the camera at you. I'm not, but I'm just like, um, I don't know, like, uh, I, I, are you to want to talk to me? It seems like you want to talk to me. No, I, oh, no, sorry. I to make a oh, my God. Because I, I thought you, because I, I think you were on the other side. Yeah, and then, I've been looking in the area for somebody. And oh, okay. It's myself. just a coincidence. Sorry, man. Because, because honestly, why I said that? Because uh, I just had an incident where I was talking with my viewers. And I, I assure you, you're not on the camera. I'm sure you. I was just doing a selfie while I'm taking my, view, my viewers here. I mean, you could even see, um, but this, uh, this really uh, unstable, I don't even know how to say it, mentally unstable person screaming at me, says, uh, F you, don't point the camera at me, like, buddy, first of all, I'm not even pointing the camera at you, but, and, don't, and buddy, like, you stand in a, th I, was, I felt threatened, yeah. so I'm like, okay, right, really? People I'm like, really? It is, leave. Absolutely, I'm glad you said that because uh, this is not, you know what, there are a lot of people who live stream in Toronto. We shouldn't have to worry about, this is not a normal person, this is somebody who needs help. I get that there are people that also are, are self-conscious and, 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 but hey, you know, if you speak up, I have no problem with editing the video and taking you out the video. But that's the best I can do. Like if I'm walking and you're, if, if I see someone's uncomfortable, I'll point the camera away or I'll edit it out later. Uh, I know a lot of people don't care about that, but I, at least I do that. Sorry to take your time. I'm just, no worries. I, I gotta, just, I gotta keep looking for this guy. Oh, okay, okay. You have a good day. Enjoy your. How many people are following you right now? Can you see how many viewers you have? Uh, well, right now seven on the live stream. But uh, you know, I, hey, it's getting it's it was, start. It's you start. Exactly. All right. All right thank you so much for that. Thank you. All right. There you all have it. One of Toronto's finest. I got a little paranoid myself. He wasn't. Sorry for that. Flat. Why is there so much light on my face? He wasn't actually looking for me. It was just coincidence that he pulled up right beside me. I just noticed him. I just noticed him on the other side of the street. He is looking for someone, looking for a suspect. But I was just like, and then when I sort of 
when he was on the phone, I was like sort of, he said one second. So, but, um, but yeah. Let's see, I'll get caught up in the chat here. Yeah, Ali from Iraq. Henry continues despite everything. Henry continues uh, despite everything. And shout out to RJ. RJ in the house. RJ. Sorry, it took me a little while. I, I was just uh, speaking with the... And you, did you all hear that? You all heard that? You all heard that? While it is nice to be considerate about people's privacy if they don't want to be on camera, but if I'm doing a selfie, like he, if you heard the police officer and, and somebody just happens to go behind in my shot, well, tough luck. Even the police officer said, that's, um, you know, that's the law of public place. But, uh, all right, RJ giving us the wave. RJ, 21st century, yeah, 20, uh, you know what? We can walk by, in here, it's pretty nice. RJ, if anyone, just in case you don't know, RJ was the one who treated me to that Thai dinner that delicious Thai dinner at Eat BKK Thai Kitchen and Bar. This is your man right here. He's one of the partners and he he traded me to that amazing dinner in the last winter storm. And I always try and get the word out on Eat BKK Thai Kitchen and Bar. Big shouts out to RJ. And I'll never what you did there and my viewers and we all enjoyed it together man that that was perfect right during the winter storm and i have that dinner but we're gonna and uh you know at some point check out one of his other restaurants rj and uh riot cat in the house riot cat thank you so much for being here riot cat um i'll get caught up in the chats here I'll get right to Raikad's comment, but let me make sure I get caught up in the chats here. Yeah, 21st century, sometimes people may have mental issues. Don't go into physical fracas, yeah. It's those people that are have really, really mental, mentally unstable. And um, I, I appreciate very much there's a deep-rooted problem. They really need help. At the same time, at the same time, there's nothing wrong with keeping, wanting to keep Toronto safe. Many people in Toronto do not feel safe when when buses and streetcars are full of, you know, street people on the streets doing drugs, smoking crack. No, you can't have, no, sorry, sorry. Go, go, you're not going on uh, public transit on that. Get out of here. And you ain't, and they're uh, attacking people for no unprovoked attacks. Finally, uh, there are going to be more pol uh, police presence, 80 officers, additional officers. For those who say uh, police makes, well, it's, it's going to make them feel unsafe, well, you, be then you better get over your issue then. I understand, uh, I understand there are certain I understand that uh, in the past we've had, and it continues to be that way, to a certain extent, uh, discrimination. Uh, sometimes uh, discrimination. But dude, but for real, these officers are gonna be there to make, they're not gonna be there approaching, just randomly approaching people and qu questioning you. They're not gonna be doing that. They're there to be a presence and just, uh, they'll probably be just standing there, just standing around most part. They're not gonna be going up to, they're not gonna be approaching anyone saying, hey, what are you doing here? What, you look suspicious. No, they're not gonna be doing that. If you really do look like you're acting suspicious, yeah. But uh, yeah, we need to, it's a deep rooted problem. This mental health uh, is what's causing so much of this, uh, these attacks that are happening, violent attacks on the TTC. And, uh, but that's a long-term play. That's a long-term solution. Right now, the short-term solution may be to increase presence. That's still not gonna be enough though, 80 officers, but it's a start. Right, Cat, yes, we have a problem with mental, un 
mentally unstable people. I don't know, I keep showing maybe part of it is because of lack of mental health supports, but it's been a lot worse during COVID. I'll explain why, just give me a second, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, uh, RICAD, um, during COVID, during COVID, uh, our mayor uh, created a lot of, converted a lot of hotels and motels into homeless shelters. But what end up happening is a lot of areas that normally wouldn't see problems in downtown, all of a sudden, not only downtown, even midtown Toronto. Um, I'll give you an example, like uh, Roehampton. And Rykad, uh, Rykad, our friend uh, viewing us from Midtown, he may know about this. In Midtown, there's a controversy because um, there, there was a hotel there. I forget the name, but on Mount Pleasant and Eglinton, they converted into homeless shelter. And all of a sudden, a lot of property, property damage, uh, property crimes went up. Um, you see needles and syringes all over the place. And, and that's a community where there's a lot of young families and a lot of kids go to school. So kids in high school and, and teenagers. So a lot of parents were concerned about that. And why, why not? Why not, right? Why wouldn't she be? And uh, they came out to voice their concerns. And then you see, and it became very ugly. Then you see the homeless, the people advocating for the homeless saying, how can you be so heartless? and this and that so i mean i get both sides but i get both sides but you can imagine how scary it is when you're living in a safe area all of a sudden you're dealing with uh these you know you know females were being harassed uh, by these uh some of these people that uh, were just yelling sometimes i even uh, met a starbucks partner who was followed who was sometimes afraid to walk to work because she, she was followed by one of these uh, mentally unstable people. So yeah, my heart goes out to, we need help, mental health supports. But at the same time, we need to keep Toronto safe. Like what you all saw, that guy coming at me, I ain't gonna be a victim. And I'm gonna make, and if I gotta be loud about it, and if I'm gonna get in their face, I'm gonna get in their face. So that's just my little. Sometimes uh, I gotta let them know, the guy kept uh, mouthing off, kept walking. I let him know what time it is. I said, go ahead, buddy, take the first shot. Go ahead, buddy. Guarantee you, you just keep walking. Just keep talking and walking, eh? I even walked right, right, I was right there. You all saw. But anyway, I'm not here to show I'm a tough guy. What I'm here to, my point is, stand your ground. And it doesn't mean that you have to do what I did. Because it could be a stupid thing, what I did. Who knows if the, if the guy would pull a knife, knife on me. And so then instead of a hand-to-hand -hand combat, it becomes uh, it becomes a lot more tricky situation and a dangerous situation. But that's uh, definitely part of what happened during COVID. And, uh, I don't, you know, these days you got to be careful what you say. But, you know, I'm just going to speak my mind. Like, you know what? We can't be happy. You know, I'll be damned if Toronto ever becomes like a San Francisco or Seattle. Some of these um, certain parts of Vancouver gotten really bad. Mostly, uh, this is a problem, uh, obviously, uh, Los Angeles, Skid Row, we all already know. But a lot of these warmer climates, that's why it may never be a problem here. Oh, there we go, snowman. It's 21st century, we're mentioning that. Here we see one, finally. But uh, maybe I'll just stop my rant now, but I'll be damned if Toronto ever city that's by uh, drug dealers taking over the city that ain't never gonna happen For, forget that fuck that they ain't never gonna be a part of my language I'm really sorry but sometimes I'm really raw we can't be having these street people uh, just sleep uh, sleep hanging around right in front of business right in front of business not just op not just like like right in front of businesses where people like know who's gonna go in there. So okay, I'll uh I have our like I said, like I said, I know I have a good friend that used to be homeless. And she gave me you know I know it's it's really hard, it's a really tough drug addiction, you know, it comes into play too. But you know, taxpayers ha have to be uh, feel safe. 
if the TTC wants, they want more ridership, better for the environment, get people, uh, get Toronto less congested, you need, people have to be able to have, feel safe on the TTC. And I'm telling you, while it's uh, relatively safe, and but because I'm very diligent about what's around me, just being, uh, just being very aware of what's around you, you can kind of see who's acting sketchy and you just sort of move away from that situation, you move away. That's, uh, that's half the battle right there. Preventative measures so that you don't become a victim. I would, I would not want to see anything happen to anybody. And uh, my wonderful friends here, please stay safe out there. Oh yeah, right cat, yeah, that, that, that happened. Yeah, 21st century, you like that, eh? Yeah, right cat, all yeah, that was a big, it became sort of very controversial because you had the one side, it became almost a standoff, right cat? It became a standoff between the uh, community, parents of the community, like between like, you know, the folks who live in the community and between uh, homeless advocates. Because um, the parents were really concerned for the safety of their children, and I would be too. But the homeless advocates were saying, you guys have no heart. How could you like, you know, homeless are not criminals and, and such and such. Let's get real here. Let's get real here. I'm not, uh, like we saw a buddy there approach me. I don't know if he's homeless or not, but he's obviously, uh, He's obviously not uh, all up, all there upstairs. And me uh, screaming at him and uh, all that probably is not gonna, probably won't deter him. But he, I just wanna send anybody who tries to come up, make stupid comments like that. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna hear from me. I'm I'm down. I'm ready to go. I'm ready down. Ready to go anytime. But I got paranoid, I kind of got paranoid there. Yeah, so I thought that police officer was there. He pulled up right beside me. And I already seen, but he was he was looking for someone else. I'm like, this can't be possible. Like how could, how could someone, nobody would have called the police on what happened there. I mean, yeah, I was pretty loud, but nothing happened. Yeah, 21st, uh, Riot Cat and 21st Century both agree, more police on the TTC. And uh, starting today, starting today, in fact, uh, there'll be 80 additional officers. There's a uh, St. James Cathedral. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful, beautiful church. I can't get the full view. Somebody's there, so you might not want to, uh, I'm not going to bother wanting to ask. But then again, this is a, uh, uh, you know, why, why should I worry about that? This is a, this is a church that many, many photographers take a picture, but still, you know what? Avoid any problems while I can. But yeah, 80 additional uh, starting today, I believe. You know, I'll put it on the side so it doesn't look like I'm pointing the camera at them. 80 additional officers undercover. So, working overtime. So the city's gonna have to pony up big time because it's gonna be overtime. They're pulling officers from overtime. For overtime. All in all, it's a good thing. Really, uh, you shouldn't worry about extra police presence unless you've been in trouble, in trouble with the law before, or uh, you've been a crim you're, or you're a criminal type. There are those, um, there are those that argue that uh, some people will feel less, less safe because they feel like they'll be discriminated by the police. I'm like, chill and relax. They're not. I highly doubt the police. They're they're there just to be a presence. They're not there to be randomly questioning people. They're not going to be there for that. They're not going to stop anyone just be, because you're standing, you know, they're not going to randomly stop people. They're going to, if you're acting in a suspicious manner, yeah, of course. That's what they're there, they're going to be there for, to keep it safe. Hopefully we can prevent a lot of these uh, attacks from happening. But they're mostly going to be, you know, kind of standing around watching undercover mostly. But it would be good to see uniformed officers too there too, because the general public would not be able to identify uh, undercover for the most part undercover the whole point of having a presence there meaning you're in uniform and people when they see the uniform they could feel a little more safe pretty common sense you're gonna feel more safe if you see law enforcement there 
and if you're you're standing on the same uh, same vicinity, yeah, you'll feel more safe. Right, cat. Another thing, I was a step back in the GTC was making booths for the customer service agents, so they just stay in one area. They used to roam the stations. It's not a cop, but better than nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, wow. Thanks. Thanks for that, right, cat. Yeah. I forgot about that. But uh, thank you so much, uh, right, cat, for being here. I got to calm down a little bit. I got. I apologize again. I, I threw some f bombs and out there. I just had to lo let that know. And you know, I don't even know what's the point of me trying to cut, trying to uh, confront the guy because the guy's not. He's not all there. Cathedral. See, guy's not all there. I should realize. Oh, uh, you know what? Before I keep going on King Street, maybe I can just show you. Uh, see if that art. I've seen it before, but I haven't shown all you wonderful viewers. Maybe I'll show that art. I don't know if I have to cross the street or not. Maybe if I... uh, interesting. You know what? Uh, maybe I'm not, I don't have to cross the street for that. Maybe, uh, should I keep going this way? I was going to go along King Street. Keep going on King Street. Yeah, right, Kat. At least a deterrent and a witness. Ali from Iraq. Ali says, Henry, you are a good man. Thank you so much, Ali. My friend from uh, Iraq. Every time I see Ali from Iraq, it reminds me of those, uh, of the nice ladies out in Mall who are also from Iraq. Oh, right, Kat. Look fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, if I go this way, I'm not going. I'm not long, I'm no longer going on King Street. I guess we'll go this way then. A whole. Maybe. Uh, oh, maybe I should go on King Street. Well, I could always go this way in King Street too. But maybe I should show you King Street too, because I could show you. Uh, well, I don't even know if you all want to see that. Oh, I think I actually put a video about that too. I think I did show the actual, uh, it's a thumbnail. Yeah, it's in the thumbnail of one of my videos. The water main break at King Inn University. There's a water main break, uh, obviously uh, still haven't fixed it. It's been, um, this is, I guess the fifth day now. So I guess they're gonna need more time because I still seen the 503 and 504 replacement buses uh, detouring. Esther, Esther, Esther L in the house. First time in the chat. Esther L, thank you so much for joining us, Esther. Great to see you and uh, thank you 21st Century for letting me know that we have Esther in the chat who said, I seen 21st Century. Said, uh, hello, Esther. He said, let me see. Uh, I think, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, I seen it. Hello Esther, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much, uh, 21st Century, for welcoming. And Harjad is still here. Thank you so much, Harjad. Looks like there's some going on over there. Near the beginning of my stream, police. Hopefully nobody was seriously hurt. At least I know, uh, I, don't, I think everything should be okay. I think everything should be okay because, um, wow, check this out. Look at these rolls, three cars. Damn, not in service. Yo, check this out, yo. Yo, this is like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, yo. What's going on here, all not in service? Look at all these street cars here on, uh, here on Adelaide, Adelaide Street East. Oh, you know what? I heard from the news this morning, there's something happened on Adelaide there's a stretch of Adelaide that's closed. There's a stretch of Adelaide that's closed here. This, that's what could it be here. Look at all these streetcars. Look at all these streetcars. Esther says, um, I travel the TTC and my daughter wants me to carry something as protection. And um, I guess, yeah. And just like uh, Riot Cat saying, are you allowed to carry protection in Toronto though? Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know, Esther, Rycat and Esther, 
I don't even know if it's legal. I don't even think it's legal. Uh, let's, what would be legal? Let's try and think of what, what uh, try and help out Esther. What could, what could Esther carry around? Maybe that would, maybe uh, that's legal. You know what? Because of, because of pepper spray and uh, those things are not, I'm, I'm pretty certain are not legal here. And uh, which is, which kind of sucks because uh, like what are, what are civilians supposed to do to protect themselves? But I can kind of understand because uh, pepper spray, if, if not used correctly, they can get, they can uh, hurt innocent people too. So maybe I could think of, yeah, 21st century, yeah. Uh, learn some self-defense. Um, also, Esther, you know what I, I could recommend? Maybe like a homemade, uh, you could make a homemade, uh, a homemade contraption. Right off the top of my head, I could think of, look at all these street cars, that's wild. I could think of maybe like putting like something, uh, a heavy, maybe putting like a heavy uh, object in a, in a, putting a heavy object in a sock. How about putting a heavy object on a sock? So that, that wouldn't, that wouldn't, I don't think that would be considered a weapon. Putting a heavy object in a sock, if something goes down, you could, you could take it, you could take it and start swinging. That's what I could think about. That'd be a pretty, uh, pretty good, pretty good deterrent. Uh, nobody's going to walk toward you if you're swinging that something. But I don't know if it's, uh, I don't think that, I don't know if that would be illegal because it's a, you're just carrying, you know, if you put something, an object, a heavy object in a sock, I don't think that can be considered a weapon. You know, that's not technically a weapon. Like if you got a heavy object, that's like a, like a, well, I guess you don't want to be carrying around a brick, but something that's got some good heft to it. Uh, that's not, that would not be illegal. There's a, oh, that's, that's what it is. Yeah. Just a little, just a stretch of uh, Adelaide just closed. So maybe, um, and I definitely understand as to why your daughter, totally understandable. The amount of high profile violent incidents is really alarming. And I'm, and, and I, and I, uh, Esther, I'm, uh, thank you, uh, thank you for, uh, thank you for saying you're, I'm not, you're not wrong in the comments. Thank, oh, there's CP24, is that CP24? Should I see what? get nosy and see what they're oh you know what they're covering um the fact that this is they're just letting viewers know that this stretch of adelaide is closed right here looks like uh looks like a oh i can't even walk through there okay so i guess um so this is uh you'll see a toronto our uh, toronto police flashing their lights often uh, even traffic just to make sure just to make sure that that people can see very clearly. Do not, uh, I wonder if I could just, there's a um, special constable. Look at all the flashing lights there, wow. Wow. Aster, you know what? Aster, actually, you know what? Umbrella, you know what? What uh, umbrella could? I think now you could do something with an umbrella. You know, you could do something, um, you could do something with an umbrella. I still got my uh, peppermint mocha in my head, but you can like swing that thing around. And, um, you know, I know, I know, I know people can't carry around a baseball bat. That would be uh, a little iffy, but uh, an umbrella, you, you could make that work actually. You could, you know, do some practice swings. And um, even an umbrella, I think would, would at least uh, some, if you get some, some deranged person who starts, uh, trying to approach you if you swing an umbrella that'll at least at least you swing that umbrella nice make some nice swings at least that'll make them stay away at least until other people and buy you enough time so that other people can come come help you if there's nobody around at least that will buy you time to just make them let them know that you're serious that you're willing to use force and oftentimes if you swing like that oftentimes when you show that you're you know, you're, you're not playing around. Oftentimes these people, you saw, you all saw, buddy over there started, started swearing at me, said don't paint the camera, 
blah, 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 which I wasn't even doing that, but the idiot didn't know. Anyone half a brain would realize I'm doing a selfie right now. So, but regardless, even regardless of whether or not I was pointing the camera, he came about me, at, he came at me the wrong way. I had to let him know what time it is. I'm like, no, you're not gonna go around. Nah, because I feel threatened there. Because me, I feel threatened for my safety. So I'm, 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 I'm allowed to defend myself. So maybe I shouldn't have kept following him. I should, I didn't, I dared him to go take a swing. I would never recommend that. Orphan Annie in the house, Orphan Annie. So good to see you. Thank you so much for being here, Orphan Annie. Oh yes, Orphan Annie in the house. Okay, things are picking up. I can see 10, we've got 10 now. The police officer, I guess tried not to laugh when I said I had seven earlier. But you know, we're, you know, we're hit double digits now. Thanks so much. But I think uh, you can make that work, uh, Esther. I think you can make that work. I think an umbrella can work out here. But I, I, uh, I appreciate your, that your daughter is uh, very much concerned for you. You have a very, you have a very caring daughter who, who's concerned about her, her wonderful mother. That's the way you gotta treat your, your parents, you know? Like how Esther's daughter is. You know, you gotta show love to your, and uh, Esther's daughter is very And why not? Even, even me as, um, you know, even me, you know, well, I'm not that big a guy, but I mean, you know, I can, I can look intimidating. And even me, like, I'm like, I'm very, very careful. I wonder, I don't think I should even walk on the sidewalk here, so I guess I gotta walk. They've even got a police officer, so I bet if I try to even walk through the sidewalk. You know what, I'll just uh, walk. Maybe I should walk on King Street or Queen Street. Should I walk on Queen King Street or Queen Street? Maybe I'll walk on, maybe I'll walk towards Queen. I can't. No? Yeah, the lady just, there was a lady who just asked. We can't even walk, we can't walk on the sidewalk. Orphan Annie just woke up. Orphan Annie just woke up. Orphan Annie joining us from the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. There you see the CP24 news. They're obviously here to cover. Uh, they're obviously here to cover the close. You know what? I'm gonna have to keep it. I don't know why it keeps my face keeps flashing yellow light there. But we're walking Queen Street. We'll walk towards Queen Street. Maybe we'll catch some uh, ice skating. Maybe we'll go by uh, Nathan Phillips Square, catch some ice. I know Orphan Annie loves ice skating. And uh, 21st Century, we've seen that little uh, snowman. Kind of a small, but it was good to see one. At least uh, someone tried. Because we were saying earlier in the stream, how come we haven't seen a snowman? With all the snow, there's a 24 hour Raba. But yeah, hopefully Esther, we've, uh, and if I could think of any other good ideas, if I could uh, think of any other good ideas, or if anyone could think of a good idea, please let us know Design. to help Esther feel more safe. If anything, uh, God forbid, if anything should go down, how to protect yourself. Because you can't rely on, uh, you can't always rely on Good Samaritans. There's so often people that are scared to me, I'll be the first person in there. I'll back anyone up who's been uh, who's being attacked without with no for no reason. I'm the first one in there, but understandably, not everyone wants to get involved. You know, often these days uh, you have um, you have these idiots uh, walking around with knives. 21st century says, uh, Orphan Annie, hope your hope your day will be good. Thank you uh, so much. Uh, you know, I gotta move it a little bit here. Walking on Queen Street, there's no way, whether or not I put it on a selfie or not, there's no way I can avoid. People are just gonna have to, uh, people are just gonna have to get over their, uh, their self-conscious, if they're self-conscious to be on camera, well, you gotta get over it. This is a uh, public space. And I was talking to the store manager at Starbucks, the store manager at Starbucks, and you see the eyeball there. 
the store manager, oh, I better not make a selfie, keep making uh, the flashing my light. The store manager of Starbucks uh, really, really thanked me, thanked me for uh, respecting uh, the privacy. She thanked me for that. She, she actually came out when I finished eating. I don't know if you guys can get check the replay, checking uh, eating me some delicious egg whites, egg bites. But uh, she, she came out after and thanked me that I respected that because she said a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't and that's not right. Someone asked you nicely, even, even here on a public sidewalk, here on a public sidewalk, if someone asks me nicely, respectfully, please, I don't want to be on your camera, I have no problem. You know, I have no problem editing. That's going to be a lot of work. I'm going to have to edit because, um, you know, but I'm willing to do it. I'll have to edit. I would have to edit the live stream. I'll have to edit the live stream, but that would unfortunately make us lose the live chats. So let's just hope that nobody, not during a live stream anyway. Hopefully nobody says that during live stream. Says, Can I please not be on your camera, please? I don't want to be on your camera, please. I don't know. I don't know why people are so self-conscious. Like be, 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 uh, like, I don't know. So just uh, appreciate who you are. Even if you're not having, like I, even there were days I didn't have the best hair day. I was having a really bad hair day, but I'm like, you know what, still whatever, I'll still be on camera. Like whatever, no big deal. Don't always have to look, uh, you know, that's uh, maybe we'll, we'll get a catch of it. Departing, passing that flashing light, that's cool. Let's just see the streetcar passing by a uh, young and queen with the flashing police lights. I wonder all oh, this, this, this police officer also here uh, because there's some, um, there's some repairs going on over there too. I don't know if you can see, see they got the pylons over there. Let's, uh, let's get some of this. Nice, nice. Do y'all see that? And there's the bridge. Still working on my peppermint mocha. I may have to, uh, it's getting really, every time I live stream, this often happens where it gets really dented. I may have to, it's very hard to hold. I may have to, I may have to chuck it, but I did get to enjoy plenty of it. Who's honking? Better not be honking at me. You see how there's an eating center, how busy it is. We're gonna cross the street here. At least it's not overcast today, or at least uh, right now, you can see plenty of blue. 21st century, all right. You were thinking modern times, people are out filming in cities such as tourists. Filming out in public is a common place. As long as you do not directly focus on individuals. Thank you so much for the comment. 21st century. Thank you so much for the comment. That's a great comment, 21st century. I'm gonna read it again. You would think in modern times, people are out filming in cities, such as tourists. As long as you don't, in a public comment place, as long as you don't, directly focus on individuals. Exactly, exactly, exactly what you're saying. And I tried to communicate that. Here's, um, they're working on the Ontario line. So this section of the Ontario line will uh, be passing by through here. Old City Hall, but the 21st century, very, very well said in this day and age. And and we're not, when I'm walking, when walking around, we're not pointing the camera direct, I couldn't, you know, we're not, it's just people who happen just incidentally in being the shot. Just like uh, the news cameras, there's so many times where, you know, people can find themselves on the news, in the background, or find themselves even on YouTube. I'm one of my boss, 
one of them, my bus operator buddies was saying he actually saw, he found himself or one of his friends told him, oh look, you're on the internet. And you can't avoid it. Like, as long as, um, like 21st century said. Now it'd be a different story if let's say here, let's say here, or let just pretend, trying to imagine this was uh, cut in half and we were, we were, uh, we were surrounded by scaffolding and there's somebody who's coming directly towards me in that case I, you, you all see I always try I point the camera away I'm like I don't the less um just just so that there's no chance I'm gonna unfortunately as much as I enjoy it I'm gonna have to unfortunately I'm all this thing is slipping out of my hands but we did enjoy that peppermint mocha And like 21st century said, this is, this is, we're in 2023. Like for those, all these phone manufacturers, Apple, you know, with their iPhone and Samsung and Sony and L, you know, LG and uh, whatever, whatever's out, out there. Guess uh, the feature, all these uh, super high tech uh, smartphones, all these phone manufacturers, they focus, they focus on uh, improving the camera more than anything else, the camera. Why? Because that's what, that's what people want. People are demanding better, better and better camera. That's what people are demanding. So, you see, you know, every year, every update, each time a new phone comes out, it's the camera that they really want to emphasize. Because that's what people want. They, like um, 21st century, in this day and age, in this day and age, you're gonna find out there's a 503 Kingston. Oh, I can't, there's too many people walking. In this day and age, everybody, everybody knows somebody, everybody knows someone, or everybody knows someone, or knows of, knows a friend of a friend, or everyone knows, or know somebody who knows someone doing a vlog or someone who has their own vlog or YouTube channel or or Twitch Twitch or uh, what is it Twitch sorry just uh, trying to get my train of thought here we're gonna enter Nathan Phillips Square let's see how many people are skating there's it goes the old city hall clock tower so what is that that means it's 12 o'clock Everybody knows someone. Oh, check this out, 21st century. Look at the chessboard. Oh, this one is all covered in ice. I don't think you want to see that. But I just want to show you it. Oh, here's one that's half covered. But yeah, everyone has a... Everyone knows someone or knows of someone who's doing a vlog, who's doing a YouTube channel, uh, Twitch. Twitch, um... All these uh, platforms, and uh, yeah, 21st century. Look at that, eh? Ice, 21st century. If we can, uh, we gotta find a chess player for. Who here plays chess? Anybody in the chat plays chess? My wonderful people, if you're lurking and you haven't been in our chat, if you play chess, this is your chance, chance to get it, chance to come in the chat. Do you? Does anyone play chess? We need to have a chess, we need to have a live chess match. And 21st century plays chess, we, had, we need to have a live chess match. Yo, 21st century, if we don't find anyone, I promise, I'll, I'll play with you, 21st century. I'll play with you if we can't, um, we could start it off that way, me, me and you. But if we could find other players, that'd be great. Oh, 21st century, okay. Sorry, um, I'm, I'm gonna have to put the music on, I'm so sorry. I, you know what? Actually, you know what? Let, let me know what you want to do. Should I? Should I just leave the music, copyright music? Should I just leave the copyright music, or should I put my music? I think um, I think you would enjoy. You might enjoy the music here better. So let me know what you want to do. Oh, okay, 21st century. I get it. But you know, that would be a lot of fun. We got to do that sometime though. And maybe over here you can watch. Uh, I gotta find uh, someone to. 
play, we could do it uh, a live stream in person. Maybe, um, maybe you'd enjoy watching that and any other chess players. But do y'all want me to? I don't mind going through the copyright music. Um, it might mean I have to do extra editing if I do get hit with a copyright. But I, I'm more than willing. I want you all to have the experience. So if you all want to hear, because that music is probably that music is probably better than the music than this. Um, Oh, okay, put my music on. All right. I don't mind putting. Uh, I don't mind doing the extra work for y'all. To but you know what? Okay, maybe that'll save me some work. That'll save me some work. I'll put. I'll put my music on. Oh, I don't know if you could hear that now. All right, some uh, you should you should hear some piano playing. Looks like looks like someone's got some heavy got some serious equipment here. Let me know if the music I uh, have is too loud or not. As long as you can hear. You know, this is actually this uh this classical music. Glad that oh, glad you didn't fall. At least this music is kind of fitting, kind of fitting here for ice skating. Let's take a seat here. Look at the seat here. <laughs> okay, 21st century. Thank you. Thank you, 21st century, for letting me know that uh, my music is overpowering the copyright. We'll just uh, check that out. Chilling by the Toronto side. That's awesome. Yeah, 21st century. We are Nathan Phillips Square, the Toronto sign. Oh, we got a first time skater here. Awesome. No, let me. We got first time skater there. That's awesome. Having fun learning how to skate here. You can see how so many people like to take pictures here. Oh, look, is that too, too small? That is awesome. We'll give you a... We'll give you different views here. We'll give you different views here. Let's see if anyone uh, does some fancy moves here. We'll give you some different uh, views here. Maybe if I, uh, how about if I crouch down? Oh, 21st century. I'm the Toronto Tech to skate. I promise I will. I promise I will. We'll, uh, we'll skate for uh, Toronto. 21st century would like to see me skate. We will, I promise. Sometime during this winter, I promise we will. Nice. Awesome. I came prepared with my own uh, music, so... You don't have to worry about copyright, but there it is. Much love and respect to you all. Thank you all so much. Keep having fun. I promise this winter, Toronto Tech, 21st century, I promise, I promise you. We'll do some ice cream, I'll do some ice cream for you. Someone with Alicia over here. So great to see everyone having fun here. Oh, uh, Esther, thank you so much. Great music, how's you moving? Thank you, Esther. 
glad I'm glad you don't mind. I'll, I'll promise I'll come up with a better uh, playlist. You can really hear the music loud now. Hit that like button and subscribe if you have to be Open any damage. I promise I will. I promise I will on a future live stream. I promise. Oh boy. I need to put my music here. Might be too late already. I promise I will on a future live stream. I promise. I don't. I don't have much time left on this stream. Uh. I don't want to, you know, I can't, if I put it on the skates for five minutes, it won't, it's not worth it. I want to be able to skate for a good amount of time, and I promise, it, it'll be coming out. I hope you can hear me properly, but we'll, uh, I promise. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, I do have to go soon. Some you could always replay, but some it's in the it's in the beginning of the second part of my live stream. So what happened was, but big shouts out to Christine, aka Rigo. So I guess I'll just rewind a little bit. I guess I'll rewind. Uh, Christine, at the end of my first live, at the end of the my live stream uh, I was I went inside the Starbucks at front in Berkeley the store manager uh, asked me nicely please uh, not to record so uh, I respect that so I put on the I put on my uh, be right back sign but but when I have the sign you can you can still hear me and my and my viewers and our wonderful friends here Christine and uh, 
We all met uh, a very nice lady. We all met a nice uh, lady named Carolina, who has her own event planning and uh, uh, interior design business. That was very nice. Uh, oh, we got to catch that on camera too. That part we got to catch on camera. As uh, some of you may know, we caught that on camera. She didn't mind at all being on camera. And then, uh, yeah, Christina, Henry, we are having a party, LOL. Hey, Christine, I'm so glad you joined here because I remember it was right around here, right around Nathan Phillips Square here with the ice skating that you, that our wonderful friend Christine had, had joined us in the chat. Christine's uh, first time in our, in our chat. We were very, we were right, we were near here. We may, have, we may have been on Queen Street actually when Christine was first in the chair. We may have been on Queen Street, but we were near here because I remember the ice skating. I think we may have been under the bridge there on, on uh, Young and Queen. Yeah, no, no worries, uh, Christine. I want to have a uh, peppermint mocha. Uh, I have it with soy, soy peppermint mocha, so I hope that doesn't gross you out. <laughs> but, um, I also had some of the the uh, egg bites, the roasted red pepper egg bites. They're vegetarian egg bites, really, really good. And you'll you'll see. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, I dropped uh, I dropped one of them, so I was only able to have one. <laughs> but that's all good. Let's see if I can get you a nice view here. Look at all the snow. I think it's gonna be a while before they can clear this part up. Up here, since uh, it's gonna be a while maybe. <laughs> you can look at that little kid. Just uh, wants to. See. I think I uh, wants to stay laying down now. People chilling by the Toronto side. Oh look at that one. Uh, one. Uh, the one young woman did some spin? Oh, she must be a uh, figure skater. Also, Nanny, check it out. I know Also, Nanny. Check it out, everyone. Also, Nanny, everyone. as I can. You know what, if we get copyright, that's okay, no, no problem. For you wonderful people, uh, I'm more than willing to do, uh, if it takes uh, to do if I have to edit, no problem. Because uh, as you all told me, it kind of drowns out my voice if, if both the copyright music and my music is playing. I'm just waiting for, maybe uh, maybe if one of those young ladies, young, Ladies can do a uh, uh, some sort of dance. That would be cool. Uh, we're back on the jazz music. Saxophone. Maybe uh. What am I? Much uh, just quickly. I know you want to get back to the ice cream, So much love and respect to you all. Thank you so much. That's what y'all want. Sorry for that quick turnaround. 
12.30. Oh, still a little loud, okay. Yeah, and keep up the great work, Arja. Thank you for uh, letting me know, Christine. You know what? We'll just, it's all good. We'll just listen to the copyright music. It's okay. There's some good, they usually play some pretty good tracks here. Nice tracks, nice to listen to. If we get a copyright, so be it. So be it. I'll just, uh, I'll just have to do some creative editing. It's okay. As long as, uh, as, long as uh, we can maintain the chats, that's the main thing, you know, ma maintain the live chats. I know that's very important to many, many people in general and our wonderful community here. Oh, even the copyright, oh, is even the copyright music uh, overpowering me? Oh, you know what, maybe I better, I better just stop the music player then. There, I think I stopped it. Okay, there we go. I got rid of the... That should be good. Now, now it should be okay. Now I think you just hear the, the regular the music that's playing here. Okay, great. Thank you for letting me know, Christine. And uh, big shouts out. Big shouts out. Uh, I'll normally put on selfie, but I don't think uh, you all want to lose this view. So big shouts out to uh, Christine, a.k.a. Wego and 21st Century. Big shouts out to you both. Thank you so much for your amazing uh, mod, your amazing mod work. I really appreciate it so much because you two, you two really get, you two really get it. What you two really get what I want on this channel. On this channel, oh, <laughs> that was funny. It's funny because uh, he didn't get hurt, so it's okay. But I, I, I get, I really appreciate that you two get. And I'm saying, I'm saying you two because you two are the one are the ones here only ones here right now so i'm gonna say you two really get get it get what i want on this channel to spread positivity vibes even anybody that's new here you two are so i really appreciate that you two are so welcome welcoming i know i know it's intimidating for some new people to join a channel it can be intimidating if they don't know anyone but i really appreciate it so much Oh, uh, uh, Christine, we go. Uh, I, I I do know I do I do know how to skate. I can't do. Um, I could, you know, maybe do one or two fancy moves, but generally, um, I can skate, but not not like a figure skater type skating. More like a more like a hockey player type. So I I, I promise to show you all me skating. That would be really cool, eh? Me skating and doing live stream at the same time. That would be really cool. Or, you know, if anybody else can do that too. I'd be really anxious. I'd be really love to show you all live skating while I'm skating. I'm not great at skating, but, you know, at least I know how to stop. Oh, I'm so glad that... Uh, thank you, uh, Christine, for letting me know. I'm so glad you're enjoying this. And uh, here, the one great thing about skating, about filming skating is that you're never gonna find someone who's gonna complain or object to be on camera even there may be some people who are obviously camera shy but everybody that comes skating here knows you are gonna get your picture taken it's not you can't avoid it the Toronto sign is right there everybody takes pictures here even videos so this is what I love no one's gonna I'm not gonna have anyone this is uh, easy to film great great to see people enjoying it here is this a good angle do you like to like this angle or should i go should i go like uh do you want a different angle like sort of um change it up go in front of the toronto sign i do have a few more minutes maybe this will be a great way to end i i, I could keep going and going and going but i guess they can't but sometimes um you know 
things uh, I have to take care of. The one thing I could be proud of myself for this live stream is I didn't uh, have to feel the need to have a cigarette. At least I pro at least I try to make a maybe I can make a promise. Maybe during my live streams, maybe I'll try even for dur during my live streams, I try not to smoke. Similar to when I have um, if I'm at a, if I'm at someone's uh, place, if I'm a guest somewhere, or or if I have guests over at my place, I, I won't I won't smoke. I won't. Uh, I'm able I'm able to have the willpower, so maybe I can do the same with you all, uh, wonderful folks, my wonderful friends here. Maybe I can make the same commitment. If I absolutely had to smoke, if it, if I really badly needed to, like I would. Um, like if I if I guess over I would go at least I would go outside like at least outside like not even like you know not gonna smoke inside and if I do happen if you do if I do cave in in a future live stream if I do have to smoke at least I have the uh, at least I have some the be right back sign instead of a, a black screen <laughs> but I don't know that be right back sign didn't really work 21st century was here for that and hard job was here for that when I put the be right back sign, first of all, I kept it on too long and then I lost viewer. Uh, uh, I guess um, maybe some of our new viewers uh, thought that that was it. And uh, after I tried to, after I received my order and tried to eat in front of you all, when I tried to take back that be right back sign, all I got was a black screen. So I'm gonna have to think, I'm gonna have to play around with that, but I'm gonna have to find some graphic to have up there just in case uh, not only for smoke break I mean I'm trying not to you know I think that this is a good angle I think you're all enjoying this angle here okay 21st century just as I say that that's good angle okay yeah I think this is a pretty neat angle more so than the one if you're facing right facing the tunnel sign this is neat this is sort of diagonal Oh, look at that little, is that a little, little kid uh, with the New York, is that a New York Rangers jersey? Rocking the New York Rangers jersey. It looks like a, it looks like I can't be more than 10 years old. Maybe not even, look at, oh, maybe he could be 10. Look at that guy, oh, he might be the fastest skater of all these, but everyone. Oh, sounds like Mariah. This is a, oh, this is a beautiful song. Can you all hear it? I kind of want to get closer to the music. It's a beautiful song, Mariah Carey. If I'm going to get copyright, why not get copyright with that? Okay, thank you, uh, Christine, for letting me know, letting us know. You see, can you all hear the the music? Why don't you do it? Bury me, cause you'll always be my baby. Okay, sorry about that. I'll let just let Mariah K thing. Uh, I was totally off key there. Oh, you heard the wind. Maybe I'll get closer. Oh, uh, it's a really nice song by Mariah. I don't know, but you all saying this is a good angle, so I also don't want to leave. Mariah Carey, uh, beautiful song played from Mariah Carey. You'll always be my baby. Oh, okay, I'm not even gonna try. Oh, that was horrible. I don't think you could even, you didn't even have to recognize what song I was trying to sing for. But it's always be my, always be my baby, from Mariah, Mariah Carey. She was uh, before my time when when Mariah Carey was in her. I guess I could say when the songs that I enjoy most from Mariah Carey were before. But Mariah Carey, I believe, is still going, is still going strong. But my the best songs I enjoyed Mary Carey was when she was I was a, a little bit young there, but I do remember my mom. Shouts out to my mom playing the playing Mariah Carey in the car when I was younger. Oh no! No Christine Rigo said sing more! You sure about that? No way! That was horrible what I sang. Yeah, 21st century thing, echoing uh, Christine, uh, karaoke. I, I, you know what? I will, I will consider it. I will consider going to karaoke sometime. Might be better if I, if I have some, a guest with me. 
that might be making more fun. That can also keep a we can keep an eye on each other in case we both get a little bit tipsy. I remember, I remember one time I went to a bar by myself, watching a sporting event, and it was not. I got plastered on my head, and then I ended up losing. Unfortunately, I think it was one of the uh, wait wait staff, either one of the waitresses or the waiters. Pretty sure one of the, it was one of them that stole uh, like 150 bucks I had in cash. But anyway, I learned my lesson the hard way. If I'm gonna go alone, not have more than one or two. But you know, I I better at least switch up spots because I don't want it to seem like. You know what? You know what? I don't think people, nobody minds, even if someone notices me. But it is uh, it is almost 12:30. I I really hate this part leaving you all. I'm gonna have to. Oh, Christine, uh, aka Wigo, how much is uh, this game rental here? I believe it's free. Ah, uh, free. I believe it's free here. The, the only thing is um. It's best to book a spot, to go online and book a spot. Right now, it's okay, but later on, after when students are finished school and folk, most people are finished with work, this, they're gonna be lot, lots of long lineups. So, I think it's free, but you just have to make sure you reserve a time slot, book a time slot. Uh, oh, break, breaks my uh, heart, I don't wanna leave you. Uh, It's so fun. Sounds like another uh, Mariah song, but I'm gonna have to leave you. I'm so sorry. So sorry to have to leave you all. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so much. Um, much love and respect to you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. 21st century was here for, since the beginning of my first, uh, when I started. So since, uh, all through both of my live streams. Thank you, I appreciate you so much and keep up the amazing uh, mod work you're doing. And Christine, AK Wego, you, thank you so much. I'm so, so thankful that you're part of our wonderful community. You're such an amazing part of our community. And thank you as well for your excellent mod work. Um, you two really get it, what I want on this channel. And I'm saying you two because you two are the ones here right now. My, my, my mod is here. You two get what I want on this channel. I know some, it can be intimidating for new viewers to, on some of the channels, the, to join the chat, but you two are so welcoming, uh, 21st Century and Christine, aka Wego. Sorry, I can't help but say, but Christine, aka Wego, that you're so welcoming to the new, our new viewers as well. So I know it can be easy to, you know, I know it could be easy to fall into that trap of uh, just talking amongst who you know, and it's, it's hard for new people to join when they don't know anyone, but I'm so, I so really appreciate you too for making that for welcome and they'll feel more comfortable coming. We saw a new three new viewers today, and thank you all so much for being here, Esther. Esther, uh, Esther, um, I don't want to, uh, Esther, uh, Cypher, Cypher Gaming, and uh, oh, some, sorry, uh, something demon, something demon. Uh, I know your second word was demon, demo demon. But uh, thank you all, uh, your new viewers, uh, Harjad. Harjad, uh, been here chatting and lurking. Thank you so much, Harjad. Orphan Annie, Orphan Annie here. I promise we'll, uh, I promise, uh, we'll end off with the skating as the last, before I sign off. Thank you so, so much, uh, Orphan Annie, such a wonderful part of our community. You know, you all know, I've heard, seen my praises of Orphan Annie. And uh, Riot Cat, Riot Cat, shouts out, I Riot Cat, thank you so much for your wonderful contributions to the chat. As always, you always come up with great comments. And uh, our wonderful friend Ali from Iraq, always uh, has been uh, in our live streams uh, a lot lately. Thank you so much, brother. RJ, RJ, what can I say? RJ, RJ, you know, you know, you know, I got lots of love, you know, love you, bro. Lots of love for you, bro. But um, I guess I'll sign off but with the selfie and then I'll sign off officially. I'll get back to the ice skating view 
maybe I'll make that of my official sign off. But uh, have a wonderful weekend. You're very welcome, Christine and uh, 21st Century and Harjat. Oh, Denver, Denver. Well, I guess before I go, uh, Denver, thank you so much for you just. I, I'm so sorry. I have to sign off. Oh, if this was uh, if I didn't have commitments, I, I would. You know me. I would keep going. I would keep going. We we're very spontaneous like that. I've been known to just keep going. Um, sorry, I can't this time there. But Denver, you caught us. Hey, we'll we'll uh, we'll get some last views of the ice rink here, and you could always catch the replay. But Denver, thank you so much for being who's also part of our mod squad. And Denver, thank you so much uh, for your wonderful contribution. You're amazing. You know, so please uh, stay. I know it's not easy during the winter times uh, to stay, but try and stay cheerful. You know, stay safe, stay warm, and you know, you have a wonderful community here to talk to. And you know, I'll try and uh, thank you so much, Denver. Big shouts out to you. Denver is such a wonderful part of our live streams. And uh, you know what? I'll try a couple more minutes, give you give you a uh, last look here. Well, at least uh, Denver just joined us. At least we could get a couple of minutes there before I officially sign off. Thank you all so much for wishing each other well wishes. Hi, this is such an amazing chat. We all talk to each other. You know, we don't just talk to, you know, we all talk to each other here. And I love that. Even for the new viewers, we talk to everybody. And uh, everyone, you know, have an amazing weekend. I guess they're playing some more Mariah music, Mariah Carey. Harjot, I think I missed um, a comment from Harjot. Harjot, oh, Harjot's letting us know he went to Vaughn Mills yesterday with your dad and take pictures of Lunar New Year. Yeah, Harjot, please uh, post some videos. If you took any videos, I would love to see that. I, I, I heard they were doing uh, some celebrations at Vaughn Mills and I never got a chance to go there. On a future live stream, I will do. I will eventually get to Von Mills, but I won't be able to during the lunar. But uh, Harjot, that would be awesome if you could share with everyone. All right, Denver. Yeah, yeah, Denver. But you know what? I will be uh, Denver, and uh, I'll let everyone know. I will be live streaming tomorrow. I will be live streaming. I'll probably start very early in the morning, and. Um, and I'll try and go as long as possible. I think tomorrow I can go uh, even longer than today. I can go long, very long, long as possible. So even if we do, so there's a very good chance uh, we could see see you there, Denver. There's a uh, goalie skull right there. He was, uh, he noticed my camera. I wish he could wave or something. All right, Denver says, love this. <laughs> Got here late. Sorry for that. No. Hey, I'm just. We're just so glad to have you here. And at least you caught. Uh, you caught me uh, just before I signed off. At least you caught me in time before I actually hit the end button. We got to uh, Denver in the house. But uh, definitely, uh, you can check out the chat replay. And uh, I'll go live tomorrow. I'll be out live uh, most of the morning here. One guy rocking his uh, Maple Leafs jersey. But I guess I'll sign off now. Thank you all so much. You all are amazing. Remember, remember, F the haters. F the haters. Each and every one of you are amazing. I know there's always, uh, once in a while, there's haters that will try and uh, bring us down. But you know what? We're a team here. Nothing's going to bring us down. Nothing's going to bring us down. Each and every one of you offer that's something special. You all have that something special to offer. And uh, you all are amazing. Okay, I just want to let you know that you all are amazing. And uh, you all really keep, keep great company with me. And I appreciate you all so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so, so much. Have an amazing weekend. Thank you so much, Christine. What a great way to end it off. Have a great weekend, Henry. Cheerful guy. I love that. I never get, it never gets old. So, yeah, 21st century. Yeah, hopefully to see you tomorrow. I'll be on tomorrow morning. 
If not, I know Sundays you're pretty free. So Sundays, uh, I'll definitely uh, update on my community posts. Denver, uh, wishing everyone take care, everyone. Yeah, you too, Denver. Stay safe, stay warm. Have some good eats today. Some nice good eats, good drinks. Showing Denver, showing everyone the love. Thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna sign off right now. Y'all stay safe out there. Take care and take care and practice self care, because y'all deserve it. Y'all deserve to treat yourself. All right. Bye now.